Vision has faced a lot of foes since his introduction to the MCU in 2015's Age of Ultron. Ultron, half of the Avengers in Civil War, Thanos, we all know how that turned out, and the list goes on. But in light of the recent events in WandaVision, he may be facing off against his greatest threat yet, reality itself, or at least the person behind what he perceives as reality, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. In this video, we're going to break down the reality of the new Disney Plus series and how it could actually be putting everyone's favorite android in peril. Warning, spoilers ahead. So we suggest revisiting this episode when you're all caught up with WandaVision that are just old sitcom episodes, but aren't? Yeah, this video is going to get confusing. At first, we weren't completely sure who was keeping our favorite odd couple imprisoned in a strange 1950s sitcom reality. As the show moved through the eras, it became clearer and clearer who was actually keeping Wanda and Vision inside the quaint town of Westview. Wanda. Although, we're not exactly sure why. What we do know is that Wanda doesn't like it when somebody questions the reality she's created. The pilot shows us what happens when she loses over control of said reality, when Vision's boss, Mr. Hart, begins choking on a piece of food. Everyone at the table begins acting strangely, most notably Mrs. Hart, who begins glitching in response to her husband's choking. Even Vision is unable to do anything until Wanda gives him verbal permission. Vision, help him. Proving that Vision isn't fully in control over himself in the world that Wanda has created. For the amount of control that Wanda seems to have over this little pocket of reality, she shows an equal amount of lack in it as well. Throughout the three episodes that take place within the town of Westview, we see moments where we, the viewer, and the town hostages get a momentary peek behind the illusion she's created. When this happens, everything falls apart. This lack of control is most noticeable in episode two, Don't Touch That Dial, when Wanda is distracted by sword agent Jimmy Wu. No. Wu's attempt to reach Wanda causes her to lose her grasp over the townsfolk, and they begin to question what's happening. This all culminates in an uneasy scene when Dottie becomes hostile towards Wanda, causing Wanda to reset reality. A pretty useful power to anyone who hates losing an argument. We see more evidence of Wanda losing control in episode three, Now in Color, when Geraldine, who we now know, was sword agent Monica Rambeau, mentions Wanda's brother being killed by Ultron. He was killed by Ultron, wasn't he? This time, the realization of her true reality doesn't just confuse her. What did you say? It angers her, causing her to question how Geraldine arrived in her reality to begin with. This is interesting for two reasons. One being the fact that Wanda is apparently aware that she's holding people hostage in her faux reality. And doing so doesn't bother her. The second thing is that she has adopted the shape up or ship out mentality for her, well, let's call them guests. Once Wanda realizes that Geraldine can't be easily manipulated and threatens the world that she's created, she forcibly removes her from the town. Not really the most avenger move on her part. This shows that Wanda is seemingly capable of doing anything to anyone that comes between her and the Vision. Okay, this last part is going to get a little dark, or should I say, gray. In the episode We Interrupt This Program, we get our biggest indication that Wanda isn't just playing house, but she's just flat out acting weird. Well, weirder than usual. Moments after Wanda ejects Geraldine from her reality, we see that Wanda is visibly shaken up by having been forced to address her brother's death and the events of Age of Ultron, which peels back the veil of reality for a short moment to give us a glimpse of what's actually going on in Westview. Wanda isn't just playing house in an alternate reality, she's puppeteering Vision in our current one. Since the premiere, we've had loads of theories about whether Vision is real or an illusion, alive or dead. We find out that it's kind of both. In this eerie few frames that we get to see, it's revealed that Wanda is simply puppeteering Vision's corpse. Once she realizes this, you can see visible uneasiness and even disgust begin to show on her face at the sight of what she's doing, a sight which she quickly rectifies and then dismisses. Does this mean that Vision is still technically gone? Has Wanda found a way to bring him back without the use of the Soul Stone? Seeing as Wanda's power derives from said Soul Stone, it's possible that she contains enough energy to simulate his consciousness within the confines of the reality she's created, which would give us some insight into why she's so hesitant to let anyone inside that could question its validity. One thing's for sure, it's creepy and I don't like it. If you're a fan of the comics or animated shows, you've likely picked up on the fact that WandaVision is borrowing their inspiration from the House of M storyline, which was released back in 2005. While the show isn't a beat-for-beat -beat recreation, it does hint at the underlying danger that everyone in this reality is facing at the hands of everyone's favorite witch. 
thankfully, we're not the ones in immediate danger. At least, I don't think so.